they called me. Yeah, well, they called me and asked me, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm like, really? I'm like, what benefit would I get to, to tell my employee to, you know, to clock in even if they're not working? Because that's what they said I did. Oh, they said you, they, you told them to clock in when they were not working? Or, yeah. they, or did you tell them to roll back their time card? You were, yeah, to, to like, you know, to modify their time card. To be less, right? No, to be to to get to four yards. Oh, so oh wow, because I thought like when I um I thought like you were telling them to roll back, which would be, I would say probably a more common thing that some managers do, because like I know that in Seattle, yeah. Kevin told this lady to uh you know fix her time because she worked too much, so they're accusing you of telling yeah. someone to roll make it more, which doesn't make sense, right? Because you as a manager want them to work right to hit the forty hours, right? Because you want the signs right. for the market. Yeah. Why would you tell them yep. to increase their time when they're not working? It doesn't help you with the numbers, right? Because you just yeah, care no. about the numbers. It doesn't do anything for me. So yeah, so that's what I told. And uh, I even talked to Mike Smiley, and I go, and I go, you know what? I've been you guys for like four years. I've almost five years. I've done everything you guys asked me to do. I've fucking gone everywhere you told me to go. And you're firing me for this bullshit. I go, you guys are a bunch of bitches. That was uh, what's that? Mario? Was it Mario or? Who was Mark. Oh, the, oh, the guy Mario's, who, I think was Mario, right? No, you're talking about the guy who told us who Yeah, said yeah. His name was um, Mar Marvin. Kihon. Oh, Marvin. Kihon. Marvin, what, with a G, I think, last name. I don't remember. Uh, Mar Marvin, M-A-R-V-I-N. His last name was um, Kinyo. Kihara. Okay. Yeah, it starts with a G. That's why I recall. Um... Yeah, yeah so his last name is Kihara. Oh, with a K, or with a Q. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. don't even remember his fucking last name. All I know is that if I ever see that motherfucker, I'll fucking beat the shit out of him. Like, did you experience any racism, like yourself, at Nielsen? No, I just think he. No, I never experienced anything racism before, except when I uh, when I became manager. Um, I remember when I met up with Nate and uh, where was that in L.A. Came out there to like you know to like show me a couple things. Mm -hmm. He uh, he's like, man, now that you're a manager, bro, you gotta lose some weight. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, man, I'm working on it. You know, I didn't think nothing of it, you know. Yeah. But that, I, I I put I put that I put all that to the lawyer. So. Yeah. Well, that's that's not really racist, right? Uh, it's not racist, but it's uh. Discriminatory, discrimination? maybe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because like I mean, so, did you, you you probably you, you probably like Nathan more than you would like Mark, or because I, I thought you liked Mark like before uh, you were a manager. Yeah, Nathan was cool. Nathan was cool. Um, Nathan was way cooler than Mark. Mark's a little bitch. But I thought you liked Mark before. Like uh, I know that the emails when I used to work in Las Vegas when you were a regular rep, um, <laughs> like like you, you looked up to him sort of right or no? Like before you knew what? before you what became a manager, like were things good? Until you became a manager, things were bad, or? Oh, uh, no, yeah, yeah, no. Like, Mark, dude, Mark was always kissing my ass, bro. Especially when I went to go squat. I would fucking go squat, and I would fucking go to L.A. and get, like, fucking seven bases in, like, you know, four days. Or Albuquerque, yeah. or, yeah. I know that you did well yeah, in Albuquerque. Uh, yeah, so then he was always kissing my ass, but the minute I became a manager, he was always on my ass. Wow. Because... Like, Hey, what's going on with your team? How come they're blah, blah, blah? I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Give me a fucking break, bro. Like, I just fucking started, you know? Mm hmm And then, like, yeah, but whatever. I told him, though, the, when, the, when the HR and him called me. Like, who in HR they, called they, you, though? Like, were they the top ones? Or are they, was it Chris Gordon or uh, Carrie Ziegler? Like white, dumb bitch. Sand, was it, like, yeah. Sandy or? Cause I'm not... It was some white chick. That's what it was. It's been like three years, two years. Uh, uh, she called me with Mark Smiley cause, because Nate was on vacation because he had a kid. Mm. And then, um, what do you call it? So she calls me and then, oh, I have Mark Smiley on the line. Because they, they, uh, they spend me with, with pay for like two weeks. Did they give you a severance? Oh, they didn't offer you a severance, right? No, they didn't. That's why I sued them. Mm -hmm. So, um, so then she calls me, and oh, I have Mark Smiley on the other line, and they go through, and they go through, and they tell me, like, I, you know, like, hey, uh, this is what's going on, and blah, blah, blah. 
And I'm like, wow. And then he's like, and I'm sorry, we're going to have to let you go. And I'm like, really? You're going to let me go because one person, which is my employee, who was about to get fired by Nathan a month ago, and I told him to give him a chance, you know? That, and because of this guy right now, you're telling me that I, I'm getting fired when I've been with you guys for almost five years and I've never even had any incidents or any trauma or anything to do with HR. And they're like, yeah, and Mark's like, yeah, I'm sorry, man, but, you know, he said this, and I'm like, okay, so it's like he said, she said, and you guys are believing him. Okay, that's cool. You guys are a bunch of little fucking bitches. I told him that. 